Well, today I went to see Diane Falcon from uh, Eclectic Vibes. Um, so she is uh, just a wonderful craftswoman that works with wood. And she agreed to turn some wood for me to help me repair my God's Chalk House. So let's see what kind of a job we had done tonight. <laughs> I recently acquired a lathe of my own, but I just did not have enough confidence in, in it to be able to, or in my abilities to be able to turn this wood myself. So I did bring some wood with me. However, you can see our first couple of attempts at doing it, uh, um, the wood was just too small. So we had to actually work on a much larger piece of wood in order to accomplish this task. Um, and Diane has got a much nicer lathe than one I have. I've just got one of those little cheapies off of Amazon. <laughs> so here's Diane just uh, sharpening up the tools. And I guess that's kind of one of the, the big things when it comes to using a lathe is making sure that you have tools that are sharp enough that are going to be able to do the job correctly for you. And uh, here she is trying to... Uh, turn again and uh, one of the smaller pieces of wood that I brought along and uh, it's really kind of giving her a hard time plus I think this wood is very soft um, which is less than ideal for using a lathe so um, she's you know trying her best with it but uh, it's just not coming together and we're going to give up pretty quick and, and use one of her pieces of wood so um <clears throat> So there you go. This is one that's a little bit bigger and this is going to work much better. So the idea is to be able to recreate the corner post of uh, the front porch which is missing from my house. And like I said to Diane, it is not important that it is an exact match. We'll just do our best to try and match it as close as we possibly can. And boy, is she ever so talented when it comes to doing this. And she said, to be honest, you know, this isn't really her f forte using the lathe. It's a, a fairly new thing to her and she wasn't exactly confident that she could pull it up but she said she'd be willing to give it a try and uh, I have to tell you I am just absolutely thrilled with the results and I think you know when you're when you're doing this with a lathe you just got to have really so much patience so um, and especially if you're trying to match something that already exists not an easy task especially on this tiny scale so um, so she's just kind of, you know we just kind of measured it against the one that is on the house and we're you know she's just trying her best to make it as close to what's already existing there so you can see there the little new post there on the right so we've got it fairly close so she can keep on uh, looking back and forth to make sure she's getting it fairly accurate and she also has a pair of calipers so um, she did measure it to make sure that it was uh, very, very close in scale. So um, <clears throat> the difficult thing about doing it with this particular piece of wood um, is the wood itself was much thicker than the original piece that's on the dollhouse. So, um, but she needed to do that because on either end to clamp it into this larger lathe, it really did need the stability of having like a larger chunk of wood. So, um, and I mean the first two attempts with the smaller wood, yeah, not so great. But look at this. I mean, it's really coming along. So I'm I'm so impressed with the way this looks. Like, holy man, <laughs> you know it's um. 
you know, I brought my little lathe, which is from Amazon. It's just a real cheapy. And uh, Diane showed me how to use it. So I'm going to be attempting some on my own, I believe. But uh, I just didn't want to mess up this little dollhouse because it's just so special. So here she is now with uh, um, a piece of sandpaper just kind of going over her work to make sure that it's nice and smooth. And as I said, we had to use a much larger chunk of wood. So she's cutting the sides of it off here um, to square it up so it'll be the same size as the other newel post on the other side of the porch. So, And that's the difficult thing with this. You know, you can't just kind of do it freehand and put any old post in there because it's got to somewhat match the existing post and uh, I really think she pulled this off well you'll see when it's done it's uh it looks quite good so so she's just kind of squaring off the bottom so that uh it's a closer match to what is on the existing house so um I'm I'm so happy with the results like just I couldn't be more tickled so I think the big thing is is trying to get it to match color wise so you can see there the one on the left is the original and the new one on the right pretty good hey I think that looks so good like I'm just so happy with that I think the results have been just outstanding just absolutely outstanding so now I've got some of these uh, 112 scale um, little spindles that you would use for a staircase. And uh, Diane is just cutting them down because we're going to use the top part of it um, for a little veranda. So the railing on the veranda on the top of the house. That I cannot match exactly because I cannot find an existing picture of what the original did look like. Um, but you know this is pretty close I think um, I think it will definitely look nice when it's done so we've chosen instead of just putting a railing on the top we're going to put a railing on the top and the bottom of this veranda which is closer to what you'd see on a on a real house so like a life-size house so um so she's just cutting them down for me um, so they're all the correct size and uh, I think it's just going to look great. So you can see two of my pieces are slightly different but that's okay. I'm going to just use those on the corners and I think it'll just look like it was meant to be like that. And of course being the miniaturist I'm going to keep all those excess parts because who knows one day I could use them for something. <laughs> and so she's now cutting down the wood that I supplied for this job and she's just um, going to cut it into quarters so that I can have a railing on the top and a railing on the bottom. She's also going to recreate, do you see the top left there, the gingerbread trim? She's going to recreate that for me as well. So, but that's going to be done on another day with her laser cutter. You can see here how the bottom porch looks. And now I have all the pieces cut for the top porch, which I'm going to have to install on another day. I just got to figure out whether or not I'm going to paint it or try and stain it to match the existing. And there's Jimmy doing his inspection. <laughs> ah, Jimmy, he's so funny. So um, he doesn't stay still for very long. So to be able to um, catch him on film is pretty hard unless he's inside his cage. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, he sees daddy. So, and I'm asking him, Jimmy, what do you think of my new dollhouse? <laughs> Well, we have lots of work to do yet to be able to finish this old house. Thank you so much for watching today. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that like button and tell your friends about my channel and have the best day ever.